All right, coming up next, a welterweight matchup between Bruce Lee and Damian Maia. As devastating a grappler as we have seen in the UFC, you fight Damian Maia, it makes for a most suffocating night at the office. Here is the former UFC middleweight title challenger and welterweight contender, Damian Maia, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu world champion and one of the most talented Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belts to ever step foot inside this arc. Damian Maia may very well be the very best Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu artist in mixed martial arts, and he has proven that time and time again by submitting some of the elite fighters in the world, both at 185 and at 170. Well, Bruce Lee was quoted as saying the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style, and Bruce Lee himself certainly fits the bill. The founder of Jeet Kune Do and the man Dana White calls the father of modern mixed martial arts, he is perhaps the most influential martial artist of all time. As good a combination of speed, striking, unpredictability, and precision as we've ever had in martial arts, Good to see Bruce Lee making the UFC walk tonight. This guy has extremely unusual kicking speed. His technique is outstanding, and there is no wind-up to his movement. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Maya is nine years the elder. He is the six-inch taller party. The reach is identical. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Saitama Super Arena in Tokyo, Japan. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Welterweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Damian And now, his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. Ready? Here we go. So here he is, the UFC welterweight champion, Damian Maya. It still sounds good, and this man may be the best pure grappler in the UFC today. We've seen a lot of world-class jiu-jitsu practitioners in the UFC, but few have seen their grappling transition as well to MMA as Damian Maya's has in the big show. Oh, here's a kick to the body, blocked though by Maya. Oh! Whoa! This could be and it. now he lands a combination. Misses a huge hook to the head. Nice punch there by Maya. How about that chin? Going to the body there with the right kick. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh! He is clearly in big, big trouble. Man! Oh, very nice. 
Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Got to find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. Hit him with the jab. They're going after it quick here. Oh, and he lands nice a big right, right hand. Oh. Oh. Trying to establish that jab. Oh, he caught him with that right hand. And there he swung with a haymaker. Nice punch by Mike. Caught him with a punch. Under three minutes remain in round one. And a nice one-two with the right and the left. Effective with the jab here, Joe. Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Just missed with that right hand. Connects with the punch there. Oh! Nice. This is straight left to the body. And he's looking for that left. He landed that punch flush. He missed with that jab. Oh! that kick and now starting to snap off that jab under two minutes now to go really swung for the fences with that hook but misses good check of the leg kick Joe oh well timed and placed overhand by Maya Well, his opponent's got the read now, Joe, as he lands the punch to the head. He's got to change up his striking pattern and the tempo, or he's going to continue to be vulnerable to that counter. Big left hand. Misses a huge yeah, look, look to the head. Oh, 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 huge right hand. hand! He's in big trouble. Just missed with the left there. Big left. Punch coming, it's blocked. And that one certainly found the target. 30 seconds now to go in round one. That one hurt. Oh! Lee gets plastered with that overhand. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he registered two big knockdowns. Huge round from Maya. Two big, significant knockdowns. Two big moments in that round. Definitely won it for him. And here, a perfectly placed punch results in a knockdown. And here, another clean shot lands and another knockdown. This round is going to end with him. Look, he's going to desist. You can see. He left the hand of the fight. He's just waiting for you to get to the mark. The lovely Brittany Palmer is with us. Ready. Here we are, early round two. At the end of that round, his opponent was clearly hurt. He's going to look to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. 
Damian Maia is one of the very best Brazilian jiu-jitsu artists to ever compete in MMA. He is a multiple-time world champion and amongst the elite of the elite when it comes to jiu-jitsu. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than just one strike at a time. These guys are just standing in front of each other and throwing bombs. Let's see it one more time from a different angle. Look at the power in this left as it shuts the lights out. Great angle here. And he's out. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. At 52 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by knockout, Damian Maia! All right, so Damian Maia, the Brazilian, still getting it done well past his 40th birthday. This is just a very difficult matchup for anybody in this welterweight division, and he proved to be that yet again here tonight. It really is remarkable when you look on paper at everything Damian Maia has accomplished, and tonight's win another feather in the cap of the borderline future UFC Hall of Fame.